Okay, this Nifty Thrifty Girl video shows you a little bit about a Singer 600E. This particular machine is in excellent, excellent near mint cosmetic condition. Very, very clean all over. Um, found in an estate sale. Had all the original stuff with it. Um, and it sews beautifully. It's very quiet. Makes a nice stitch. Of course, this is very similar to the 4, 401A and the 500 in that it makes the um, internal stitches as well as uses the top hat cams. Basically, it is a 401. It just is in a touch and sew version. Uses the two-piece plastic touch and sew bobbin. It is a slant shank, 15 by 1 needles. It comes with all the original goodies. It has the original box with cams and feet. Box is in beautiful condition. It comes with the extra box of cams in beautiful condition. Comes with the touch and sew but sew button holder, complete with the correct plate. It has the original chain stitch manual, um, a motor lubricant sealed on the card, original manual which is not in mint condition but it's very usable and it also has a very cool little skirt marker mint in the box with extra white marking powder kind of something for your collection. And as I said it does make a beautiful stitch. I have tested the bobbin winder on the bobbin that we are using here. The bobbin winder is in wonderful working condition. If you've ever worked with one of these touch and sews, you know that normally that is the problem, would be a bobbin winder. So, very, very quiet. Touch and sews can be pretty loud even when they're working properly, just because of the, the um, working. Let's change. Now you use the letter combinations to make your patterns using the two levers just like you would on your 401. This is the ball stitch. Of course, some of the patterns that are on these extra discs are already created by the built-in cam stack. So you're kind of um, getting double, but since it came with everything, I'm including everything. This is an all-metal gear-driven machine. No plastic gears, no belt to change. Your um, standard needles can be purchased anywhere like Walmart or online. The two-piece bobbins, I'm not sure that Walmart has those, but maybe Joanne might. Or, of course, you can find them online. All right, I'm going to access the cam, which we flip it over to special. Your primary patterns and your cam patterns are adjustable in width. Your combination patterns are not. Of course, the manual will explain all this. Also, you get the chain stitching attachment. And all that will be explained in your chain stitching manual that you get. The machine is serviced and ready to sew. Tabletop ready. Or it can also be um, installed in a cabinet any Singer cabinet or carrying case. Actually, it needs to be put in its own carrying case, but it can go in a cabinet. Right now we're sewing a cam pattern. And this machine is actually a little newer than the 401A. It just kind of depends on what you like. I personally prefer the 401 bottom mechanism over the touch and sew mechanism. But they're both very nice machines. And as you'll be able to see in the pictures, this machine is in beautiful, beautiful cosmetic condition. Haven't had one this clean in a long time. Now we're going to do some heavy duty stuff. Here's six layers of denim. Nice stitch. 
This is a more delicate fabric, but I'm going to make quite a few layers. There's four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen layers of this. It's kind of a satiny fabric. Makes a very nice stitch. Beautiful. And we'll even do a couple layers of leather underneath. This is not an industrial machine by any means. Just a vintage heavy duty machine that has all metal gears, which these days you just don't find. As you can see, leather is no challenge. Makes a beautiful stitch there. That is the Singer Touch and Sew Model 600E.